Every computer has its own set of buttons and ports. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the most common ones, including what they're for and how to recognize them. Some buttons are universal, like the power button. Depending on the type of computer you have, it may be on the front, on the back behind the screen, or even on the inside when you open the lid. The power socket is where you'll connect the power cord. If you have a laptop, you'll have a charging port instead. Most computers provide more than one USB port, so you can plug in any device you might need. Keyboards, printers, and USB drives are all common examples. Some computers even have USB-C ports, which can be used for many different things, not just plugging in devices. Laptops, for instance, often use the format for the charging port. If you have a desktop, you'll use the monitor port to connect the monitor. There are quite a few types of monitor connections, ranging from HDMI to the USB-C style we just mentioned. If you have a laptop, you can connect a separate monitor as long as you have the right equipment. Just look for the display port and plug in the appropriate cable. The Ethernet port lets you connect to the internet if you're not using Wi-Fi. All you need is an Ethernet cable, which you can then connect to your modem or router. If your computer has an audio jack, you can use it to plug in wired headphones or speakers. You may or may not have a disk drive, depending on how old your computer is and who makes it. The disk drive can be used to insert a CD, a DVD, or a Blu-ray disc. If you have ports that look like this, they're for older peripherals like mice, keyboards, and printers. Newer versions of these devices usually connect via USB or wirelessly. And that covers the basics of buttons and ports. Of course, every computer is different, and technology is always changing. To find out what options you have, take a closer look at your computer. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.